Yo, my dudes, it is 5 a.m. in the morning, and, um, I'm gonna do what I can to make up my commentary to make it to be, to, just to make sense, you know what I'm saying? Oh, cr oh, crud, oh, crud, oh, 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 oh. I am dying. All right, my dudes, this is it. This is the final fest. Splatoon 3 has been confirmed to be not in production yet, and it is time. It is time, my dudes, to start this Splatopolis. Splatocopolis. Splatocopolis? Yeah, Splato Splatocopolis. This time we're going to do something different today. This is probably going to be the first Splatfest with face cam, except for the terrible live streams I did back then, two years ago actually, where I actually did try to do face cam and it went gosh awful. With that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, it is time, it is time to start the final fest! Here we go, the final fest begins! Time to force the world of your dreams. Head over to the Splatfest terminal and pick a side for last time! Oh my gosh, for the last time. Alright, here we go. Camp Triggerfish. Is there something magical about Campground? Okay. So I heard that apparently, Station, you helped make the stage. That's amazing, Marina. I heard there's like two shifty stations now, the one being where it picks all the ones beforehand, and the one that is this Splatfest. Oh my goodness. Hello everyone, it is me, Jerry Gaming here, and welcome to the last Splatfest of the century. I don't know about the century, but... It is the last, the final fest. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's head right into the lobby. Okay, now today is gonna be something very, very special. The Splatfest weapons that I have picked for today are not just, I just decided to pick a lot of weapons. I wanna do something very special this time. I won't tell you guys what it is yet. Do know this, I will not be in my usual outfit every single time. Without further ado, let's uh, get started for the last time. All right, so we're gonna be doing these. So have this, actually, hold up, wait, let me give me a second. I'm gonna change the picture of my TV real fast, so. Okay, we're gonna be doing these an obsessive amount of times. So, this is a, ooh, this could be special. Instead of doing like seven battles, maybe less, now we're gonna do a lot. It. Oh, crud, the music's changed. Ooh. Hey, that's like, it actually sounds like the one when you, uh, seven flow, okay, okay, okay. It sounds like the, uh, the, the, the beginning of the, it sounds like the one from, um, when you fight Commander Tartar, if I if I remember if that's his name. But anyways, we have the golden air spray, the air spray uh, RG, I think. And we are gonna be cosplaying as one of my good old friends, uh, nope. Anthony. Okay, I, I died. That's that's great. I mean, I don't know how you're not supposed to die to something that has much more range than an air spray. But okay. I mean, genuinely, I've kind of been falling apart from the air sprays because, you know. Now that I actually figured out how to play the game, part of it is not playing with the arrow sprays. Because they're not excellent. They're pretty cool, but they're not excellent. But the only reason why they're excellent, they're 
may be sort of excellent now is because we're doing Splatfest. So, that is wonderful. Literally. I mean, look at that. I just died. It's just like the very first Splatfest with, you know, cake versus ice cream. I still like these themes to this day. It's gonna really suck when, uh, we're not gonna be able to do Splatfest anymore. I mean, even though there's a lot of people that don't care about the fact that we're not gonna be able to do Splatfest anymore. Since, uh, I was gonna say. <gasps> oh, oh, that was another arrow spray. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, there's a dude behind you. I just want to let you know, Mr. Teammate, that's uh, coming over there. Okay. Wait, does that have a picture of Marina? We have a picture of Marina when we're on Pearl Steam, apparently. Oh, yeah, also, um. I, I'm not gonna lie. I literally picked, um. Team, uh, I wasn't gonna say Team Chaos for literally one reason and one reason only. And I'll even show you the clip. Escape. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. Let's get out here. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That guy killed me somehow. Oh my goodness, we are dying a lot with this arrow spray. Okay, so they probably went in our area and we just don't okay no they haven't went in our area at all I just don't know because sometimes it's just lose position of the map so that gets really difficult it's literally also been a hot dog long time since I played uh well it's I think it's only been like a few weeks since yeah. I played Splatoon so <laughs> okay well there's my last well, there's the double at least I am not sure how we did though just barely lost. Just barely lost. Okay. You know what? That's not great. That's not wonderful. I did not want to lose this because you know what? This was supposed to be a very, very, very special time here. <laughs> just, you, well, you know what? It's Splatoon. So just blame it on your uh, bottom two teammates. <laughs> At least when it's turf or when it's ranked, the way they position who did better than the other is very questionable. But for now, just, just blame it on the bottom two since it's turf war. Since you get to know how it's positioned. Anyways, on to the next weapon. Mayonnaise? Hey, I remember mayonnaise, or is it, wait, man, man, nay, mayonnaise? Is it man, is it still mayonnaise? Whatever. I remember mayonnaise. Well, not the name, but like just it in general, because we lost to that in ketchup versus mayo. Okay, ooh, the shifty station! Let's get it! Anyways, we were playing with the Kensa Splatter Shot. And we're gonna be cosplaying as the Inkling Gamer. My good old, good old, good old friend. Oh, <gasps> this is Ink Me Up! <laughs> wait, what? Oh, <gasps> wait, wait, there are new themes? What? <gasps> wait, wait! <laughs> what? <gasps> this is crazy! Yo! Oh my gosh! This takes me back! This takes me back to when we did the, uh, the Splatoon Oh my gosh! This ta- What the heck? Why couldn't I move? But oh my goodness! Yo, this takes me back! I need to turn up my volume! Yo, this takes me back to when we did Splatoon 1! You guys remember that? You guys remember the times? I mean, I only did, like, one video on the Splatoon 1 Splatfest, uh, the uh, Pokemon Red vs. Blue, I picked Red because my cousin Nate told me to pick it. Even though I was more into Dragon Ball Z back then. But dude, that was the times. That was the times. Now we finally get to play it again. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. I... Oh, whoa. Who did I kill? I don't know who. Okay, as long as I got her, or him, or whoever it was. Okay, seems like we're winning though, and now we only get to cross the, cross through the cross through the middle platform. Oh no, we can we can cross from the sides, but it's just gonna be a bit weird. Oh no, these platforms move. Oh, this is gonna be a bit awkward. But don't worry, not too not too terrible, just awkward. Okay. Oh no, that was a girl. Okay. I thought that was a guy, because I died. And that made and I guess it played my little uh inkling death sound over his her, right, I think. Yo, the cheering! I remember the cheering! And the oh my god! <gasps> oh, this 
hitting me. The nostalgia is hitting me hard, even though it's only been like... No, it's been like three years. So, does that count as nostalgia? It, whatever, it's been a long, long time. I mean, you guys can feel me, right? For those of who's actually played Splatoon 1 and has played Splatoon 1 Splatfest. Oh my gosh, it's been so long! Ah! <laughs> I, just, I wish I could cry, but I can't. But this is so beautiful, we get to finally listen to Splatoon 1 themes again, and I just died. Well, they lost her jet sculpture. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, listen. I remember the times where we had to listen to Callie or Marie, either one of them, for the the last second. Oh my gosh. Oh, so beautiful. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Oh yeah, by the way guys, it's like 5 a.m. at my time right now, so it's like, it's 5.53, I woke up at 5 in the morning sleeping really late, so I'm just gonna hope that this is gonna give me the energy to stay away from my summer camp, which I'm doing Java coding by the way, it's actually really fun. <gasps> Should be stationed again, hold up. <sighs> okay, my boy, okay, okay, so do now we're doing the, uh, the NZAP 89, cosplaying as a... Okay, so now it's Mock Warfare. Okay, so does that mean... Okay, so there's Ink Me Up and the preview... Oh, wait a second! Oh, wait a second! This is the, um... This is the, uh... The Splatfest from... I th Well, yeah, this is... Yo, this is the Splatfest from the, um... The, um... The Squid vs. Octopus! That one where we had... That was probably one of the... That was probably the funnest Splatfest we had, because I had to record, like, two videos of it. That goes the same thing for, uh, what was it, uh, Michelangelo versus Donatello, I think? That was fun. Gosh, those were the times. Those were the times where me and Lizzie actually were hanged out together more often than we should. But, yeah, it was really fun. That also includes with, uh, me and Ricky Oda. We were actual friends! Now we kind of just don't talk to each other that much. Oh, move! Move! Oh, my! Bejeebers move! Oh. Gosh, okay. That's not great. We just died. Okay, so I think I went in. Okay, so while I was bawling over the fact that Ink Me Up was playing and the uh, last Splatfest theme was playing, let's actually start talking into the uh, the stuff about why I'm cosplaying as these people. Well, again, it's the last Splatfest, so I, I just wanted to do something special. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cosplay as the people that come up at the top of my head that are friends with me. And that I've kind of hang hung out more often than not. And I, it, that could have been also... Kelp should have been one of them. But Kelp's OC was... Or what OC he does was not familiar to a lot of people. So I didn't do him. I mean, even though he has an OC. And he did get into the details about what his OC is. It's not familiar to a lot of people. Because you never... Because the OC that he does is something that we've hardly even seen him do so that's why i was like okay well yeah i i, I can't do him on my list but anyways we we're doing alpha swan not someone i hang out with a huge ton well okay maybe i do but it's definitely someone i don't talk with the most even if i was in a call with him i don't really talk with him a lot i don't know why but he's probably one of the least people i would want to talk to for some reason and I'm not sure what Alpha Swan, if you are watching this, my apologies. I don't know why, but we kind of we're we're not uh, the coolest with peeps with each other yet. We will be one day. We will be one day. Just just not yet. But that was the um. No, but that was that. <laughs> that was uh that time. Oh yeah, I never got to mention the other people, but. Anthony, he's a pretty cool dude. He's a pretty cool dude to chill with, and the Inkly Gamer is also a pretty cool dude to chill with. He's also a pretty. Wait. What? <laughs> we just did three barrels, and our third barrel, we finally get the, uh, the, uh, the clout. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is. This is great. This is great. Ugh. Alright, next up, we're going to do something. We're going to do someone really, really, really special here today. We're doing Mr. Rockenberg LDT. Yeah, LD. No, wait. 
LTD. LTD. Oh my goodness. I always get that mixed up for some reason. But he is a very special person. I mean, I started knowing about his channel when, you know, Splatoon 2 was a thing, especially after the first Splatfest. Yeah, after the first Splatfest. But he is a very, very special person. Personally, one of my, he used to have been one of my favorite YouTubers until he got very inactive with his content. But he, I can see why he was a very special person. First of all, he was actually good at the game. Second off, he was actually funny. Like, that's the one thing that there's a lot of people that I know that don't have. Third of all, he doesn't booyah back. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. And I did not mean to do that. I don't even think anyone booyahed, so... I mean, the only time, of course, he would booyah is for the booyah bomb. But, uh, whatever. And third, he is very heavy on his sub. I mean, that's, n not, that's not what I'm going to be doing. And especially that, I'm hopefully not going to die a lot. But, uh, Rockenberg... LDT is a very special man for me. I mean, even though he's, he probably doesn't care about me all that much, but for me, he's very special. He's a very special man in my heart. He probably will always be, despite the fact that he doesn't do a lot of content nowadays. And hopefully, I can return the favor by not dying over and over and over. Sorry, bro. I'm going to have to cover up your face with some turf. Even though your face is really cute. Come on. Okay. I know one thing for sure, he doesn't really care about a lot of turf, he just cares about killing, or splatting, as many times as possible. But I can see why. I mean, if you splat a lot, you're basically holding the enemy team, you're, or you're, it's like you're pinning the enemy team from, um, you know, doing what they can do. So you're, if you pin one down by killing them, then they would have less progress. So it's like, it's like a, think of it as a like, okay, so... A team of four has like 50% power, right? Taking them, one of them out is like, like 42% power. So if you just, and if you annihilate three of them, then they're at like 10% power maybe. And then um, if you well, if, and then if you annihilate like maybe two of them, that's like 30% power. Th maybe 35 actually, or maybe a, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. I'm not sure, but I know, or maybe. The one person is 12% power. I don't know why I'm trying to make up numbers over something that no one's going to have the same mind with. But all I know is that um, if you just if you just knock out a lot of them, then you're holding them down. So it's um, it's a, it's still a good strategy. It still works, I think. I mean, it worked for me. We won clearly. <laughs> I just realized there's 4D. With that little symbol. I think I know who that is. I feel positive I know who that- I, I don't know who that- I'm not sure the person in general. But I'm pretty sure that's like... Competitive team player person. So we did good. <laughs> okay. Ooh, the shifty- Oh no wait, the squid versus uh... Squid versus octopus shifty station. Alright, so next we're doing something- Someone... Pretty special. Pretty sure. And it's me up again! Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, let's chill, let's chill, chill. Before I start bawling about the nostalgia, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Alright, so... This is personally one of the better animators that I know. And who's also apparently a pretty loyal friend to me. Well, I'm pretty sure loyal. I don't know. Well, I, don't, I don't know. All I know is that he's a pretty respectful dude to me. And I'm a pretty... And, you know, you gotta do the same for him. But he is, but Mr. Rick Kyoto, my man's, is, like I said, probably one of the better Splatoon animators I know, who is very underrated, 100% one of the most underrated Splatoon animators in existence, or probably the most underrated. I mean, legit, the man's has, like, almost 600 subscribers, and has animations that, I can't believe I'm saying it, but might be better than mine's. Might be, maybe not the story, but the animation is... It's smooth, it's good, it's great. I mean, I don't want to go all too willy-nilly about whether his uh, story is better than my storyboard. Or how, you know, whether, yeah. But all I know is that this man is, is he's, he's really cool. So, give this man some attention, for crying out loud. <laughs> At least through me. Also, uh, also, that includes watching this video. <laughs> okay, but... Genuinely, I don't hang out with this man a lot, but the times that I do, 
again, he's pretty chill. At least sometimes he is. There are times when we cut me, well, mostly my friends actually, kind of tip him over the edge. Sometimes I do as well, but not by, not in a way where I do it on purpose, but in a way where I kind of do it on accident. But yeah, it happens. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Alpha Swan and uh, Rikyota are in team order, so this is a bit weird. Well, it's back. And I died. Okay, now they're taking over to the middle area. We better do something before they win, because that'll really suck if we lose. Because look at the points that I got! Oh shoot, oh shoot, okay. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we won. We had to have won that, at least. Yeah. Yeah, we won. Did I mention about the ink texture it actually looks really beautiful? Because it does. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, so, um... I don't know. We do a defender now, so, um, that's wonderful. So anyways, uh, let's uh, keep on going, shall we? I don't know why I'm trying to come up with something different, because there's not really too many things I can come up with differently. 